Let's do 300 and then all in on nail damage. Geo and relics. It's pretty close to what I had, just less luck. And a little bit more wisdom and int. Okay, let's try this. I wonder what do you think of the Devil May Cry series? I like the idea of it. Uh, I just have never ha had the time to actually sit down and do... Also, they absolutely scale based on your nail damage. I'm fairly certain. Either that or I just do boatload, bucket loads more damage. So it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, the only Devil May Cry game I've ever played was DMC Devil May Cry. Uh, which I actually rather liked. I know a lot of... Yeah, maybe they don't scale. That's unfortunate. I feel like they should scale off of, like, int or, uh, strength or something. Meh. At least I do twice as much damage, which helps a lot. Uh, but yeah, I like DMC Devil May Cry. It was a neat game. I wanted to play more of the series, but I've just never had the time. Because, unfortunately, they are time-consuming. Okay, now we're doing better. I don't actually one-shot them after all. Oh, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, so someday I'd like to play through the DMZ C games. I've never... I... I'm not going to make it in time for DMC5. That that I can guarantee for you. 100%. It'd be fun, but I just, I just can't do it. Time is a, uh, a serious problem that I... A serious problem is a resource that I am... Just woefully low on at all times. And like, too many games, just too many games, ow. Okay, let's heal before one of the big guys discovers I exist. At least I do enough damage to do horrors to them. And it does feel like my summons do a decent amount of damage here. Let's see. You've said you wanted to do Bayonetta. What about Metal Gear Rising? I mean, kind of same deal. Like, they're all, they're all lovely Platinum games that I'd love to do series on. But time is never on my side. Let's see, I'd suggest Devil May Cry 3. I mean, realistically, if I was going to sit down and play any of the Devil May Cry games, I would play all of them in order. Right. I should sit up for this one. I wish I could dash away from him. Ah. Dang it. I guess the trick to remember... is never dash away from him. Dang it. Always jump. And potentially just guts him at this point. Lose track of self. And die. Damn it. Okay, we're doing pretty well. I just... I honestly was losing where I was in the chaos of all of that. Alright. Um... We're gonna switch it around a little bit. Instead of Grub Song, the extra soul is nice, 
And maybe it's actually even better, but my... My gut says go, go Stank Cloud. And rely on natural healing and... Just higher wisdom gen from other things, because it seems like... It seems like this is going to be better, maybe? Uh, this is going to have to be the end of it, though. I'm starting to uh, run my, my thumb raw. Sucks, because I want to do some more feudal alloy, but... I'll have to put that, that off for another day. I should spend some more time with Shell anyway. Okay, and let's heal. Yeah. I'm just getting that, like... It's like a pinpricky feel. In my thumb. From just, uh, too much... ...controller usage. Wow. Okay. It's a darn shame this mod does not mess with uh, summon damage. I wonder if I can actually change the mod myself. To scale it very slowly with int or uh, int or strength. Because yeah, with the way enemies scale, It's one of those where I wouldn't be surprised if uh, summoning builds just don't become mildly useless over the course of this. Okay, so let's try this again. I It's not going to take too many more tries. Which is good. Shame I don't just auto-collect these. Here's the other thing I could do. Well, honestly, the extra charms bat. What? Okay, let's get through here. Oh, I almost died. Okay. Those guys are really, really frustrating. Huh. <sighs> I'm just gonna kick back and wait. Cause we gotta let that soul fill back in. That, yeah, this is hurting. Okay, heal again. The other, I will admit the other reason why I'm not particularly interested in uh, Devil May Cry is when I was a, when I was a kid, Devil May Cry had just came out, uh, and waiting for soul regen is a good idea. Yeah, the, this boss is, is kind of brutal. I don't know. Um, it's, he's just very quick and aggressive. I mean, honestly, he's not so bad. I think I'm just here a little earlier than I should be. And I know somebody's going to disagree with me and just say this is the easiest boss they ever fought, but you know what, whatever. I'm better with slow, methodical bosses, and I'm trying new, weird, dumb strats instead. Alright, I am a whole complete person, but let's finish the story while we wait for a little bit more soul. Uh, so... One of the reasons why I'm not terribly interested in the DMC games to some degree is when I was a kid, uh, I had a friend. Uh, I was bullied in elementary school, and so they put me in therapy with this other guy. Um, and he was... he wasn't... The, he wasn't that bad, he was just kind of annoying, and he acted kind of like... super self-centered, uh, and so he never get along, got along with a whole lot of other people. Uh, but we kind of sort of became friends as a result of... of, uh, you know, being in therapy. And so... I mean, it was bad therapy, but whatever. Uh, but so, he was really into Devil May Cry. He was too into Devil May Cry. And, you know, honestly, for like 4th, 5th grade me, 
I just wasn't, like, super feeling it, especially when somebody's like, Dude, you gotta play Devil May Cry, it's like the best game ever, you get to, you know, blah 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 blah, and like, half of it was stuff that, like, yeah, elementary school me was just like, yeah, that's a little, that's a little adult for me. Uh, and he was, like, way too into it. Okay. Well. It's just got a lot of special effects on the screen right now. It is hard to keep up with. Well, we're doing better. Dang it. Oh, he's exploding to bees? That's a new one. Honestly... Honestly, I'm just gonna guts him at this point. Got him. Yeah, feel the stank. I, I like the Sumner build. I'm probably gonna have to ditch it, though. Maybe the spiders are okay, but the little exploding guys make it really hard to follow where enemies are. Oh, really? I can't do this. That's unfortunate. But yeah, so I don't know. I feel like any series where the fan base is particularly passionate about it, to the point where it's like... You know, people have really strong feelings on DMCA being the worst game in existence. Uh, is actually usually something that kind of spooks me a little bit. Uh, because I don't want to touch that. Because I'm not nearly passionate enough, and that's, that's like what got me with, uh, Undertale to some degree. Oh, hello. My knight, at last you are freed. Small thing, I know you're kind. If you attempt to resolve your past, then know I am not the queen you seek. Is the pale beings that bear blame for your nature. Though this hive exists within Hollowness, we play no part in its attempted perpetuation. To rail against nature is folly. All things must accept an end. We be Yoink. So is she dead in the back? Or... It looks like she's hung up by strings. But I don't know. I... I'm just... Very much like... I'm very much like a filthy casual, and I find, like, with a lot of... Stuff, fan bases turn me off... Harder? Uh, then they make me interested in this series. I mean, like... I've actively had people trying to convince me to, uh... Play Smash Brothers, despite assurances that it will ruin my hands. I mean, this game's hard enough as it is, but it's just Smash Brothers is ten, time wor ten times worse. And, like, yeah, some people just don't care. They're just like, nope, nope, finish the series. And I'm like, what? No. I ain't doing that. I'd like to. I ain't doing it. Okay, we already got all of this stuff. Well, now she's dead. If you don't nom her soul, she's alive-ish. Eh. 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 Okay, so we're done with the Hive. And I'm probably gonna keep Hive Blood, because Hive Blood is awesome. I don't remember... way through here. Oh. I kind of remember the way through here. I guess, honestly, why don't we just bench warp? Bench warping is mad easy. I don't think there's anything else in here. Uh, Hive Knight's dream text. If you're interested. Are you watching? Have faith in me. When you wake, the hive. Oh, I see. So she's asleep. I guess I shouldn't have eaten her soul. But then again, I don't even know if it matters. Okay, so we're here. 
let's uh let's take off my my ridiculous thing. Weaver song might just be something I no 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 no. It's just not gonna matter. Let's grab hive blood. And maybe not high blood. Alright, let's just toss on the regulars. Okay, and was it long nailed? No, mark of pride. Yeah, we gotta go get some notches. I should probably also... I should probably also look into updating those mods. I want to see what those synergies are. Why don't we get out of here and let's go do that? Because, yeah, there's no, there's no, uh... There's no stag way around here. Ah, I really can't see, like, half of these guys lurking this appear uh, this area. Dude, there's supposedly a niche synergy between Hiveblood and Jody's. Uh, it just makes it so the blue, blue hearts regen, uh, if I recall. Which is actually rather handy, but it's not, like... Absurd. Wow, that guy spit bees. So yeah, hi Hive Blood, if you're really good at dodging hits, Hive Blood makes Joni's Blessing like really tank up your HP. But honestly, it's still very slow, so... And yeah, just like, uh... Just like standard, it only heals your most recent damage. But it's a good way to perpetuate Jody's blessing. In a way that you're not able to normally. Okay. I think most of these are kind of meaningless. A lot of these big fly guys all over the place. Yeah, okay, digging this better. I, I think I just need that raw damage. That I wasn't getting earlier. Nope. Oh, yep. It's a shame about the Geo generation, but I'll live. It also really doesn't feel like the, uh, the magic does. I wonder if magic damage scales based off of nail damage as well. Because, like, it feels like my spells are doing about the same amount of damage as they were when I specced full into caster. I don't know. Honestly, probably gonna go just raw dex and strength for a while. Okay, there we go. So now, now this is open. Now we can get back here. Well, I was going to bounce off of him repeatedly, but that didn't track. Wait, he's still here? Why? Cornifer, go home. Your wife misses you. I already bought your map. I'm the only one around here that buys maps. Unless there's other people. Okay. So yeah, just back into the City of Tears normally. And we'll just figure out, uh, we'll just figure out some means of getting around at some point. Bye. Oh, nope, it did get me. I was really hoping I'd just be able to bypass that. Alright, let's go see if we can get that charms mod going. Let's see, doesn't the wife acknowledge at some point that you're the only one that buys their stuff? Maybe? I don't remember that well. I don't think they like that. All right, let's go back to Dirtmouth. And yeah, I'm going to see if I can get, um... I'm going to see if I can get... that mod working. Because I want to see what the charm mod does. Hopefully, hopefully it adds some interesting new builds that we can look into beyond just the RPG bonfire stats that we've got.
Okay. Now I just have to find it. I guess I could always try and, like, reinstall it or something. Yeah, I've just got Hollow Knight data here. Let's put on display capture. Want to manage resources, streaming assets. I don't even know where the mod folder is, actually. I guess we could try just reinstalling this thing. We do have readmes, like charming. Now is charming the one that actually adds synergies? No, this just changes mods. Changes or enhances the effects. So these are the readmes. Yeah, this is the most somber modding I've ever seen. I yeah. Uh, Mod.json. No. Well, I guess we could just run the mod installer again and see what happens. Oh, I guess it just runs. Well, that's fine. Uh, because we've got the Charm Notch mod. Oh, Charm Overhaul. Okay, we should probably quit out of the game so it doesn't muck with things. Let's take a look at these. Because I like the idea of the Charm Notches just so I can go nuts. That's why. Uh, the reason why I didn't have Charm Overhaul installed is because there's no read me. I wanted to read it. I, I wanted to know what it was. But it was. Nope. Yeah, we also have stuff like glorious combos. Combo bar. Eh. I'm not even sure if that's going to be that helpful. Let's see, there's also a mod that lets you customize the Grimchild. Uh, make it better, more useful charm, moves and shoots faster. Well, this seems kind of fine. Wait, that's Grimchild upgrades. What about Infinite Grim? So it's effectively just fight the same dude forever. So it's it's like a challenge mode. Let's not do that. At some point I will do Lightbringer. But I don't know. Right, I was going to uninstall Quality of Life. None of them were particularly amazing, and one of them lets me skip cutscenes. I'm going to have to make sure I don't have that on for next time. I don't think it's been an issue, but still. So what's the Charm Notch mod? Oh, gives Lubra's Charm Notches Im immediately upon... Nah. No, we don't need that. I was kind of hoping there would be one that actually give you, gives you a couple more. Ish. Uh, let's see. Any of these other ones look kind of amazing? Let me know if there's any other ones I should try. Lightbringer, I think, is one that I should give a go. Just to see what it would be like. I've just... Yeah, sure. Screw it. Let's install it. We'll screw around with Lightbringer next time we play. And if it's good, then we'll keep it. And if it changes too much, then I don't want to do it. I don't know. And yeah, there is infinite notches, but that might be too many. 
I I honestly don't know. I mean, it's really tempting. Yeah, I'm just going to throw it on, and we're just going to honor rules it. How about that? That's an easy answer. Let's see. Azerath, are you still in chat? Uh... Was it the, uh, was it the charm overhaul mod? I guess we can see if there's a readme somewhere. Charm overhaul. Oh yeah, heavy blow for... Okay, here we go. Reduces a lot of costs. It doesn't seem like this has got the synergy that... Oh wait, no, no. There they are. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. So, costs got reduced. Base damage... Sea heart base damage increased by 3. Increases by 4 with each nail upgrade. What does sea heart do? I don't remember. Defocus... Damage of Sea Heart, charge up time of Sea Heart, charge up time. Huh, okay. Joni's Blessing health multiplier increased to 1.5 times. Heavy Blow increases nail damage by 15%. That's good. Sprint Master increases walk speed by a little bit. Hmm. Okay, Kinematic Shell. Shell plus Defender's Crest. When falling at terminal velocity, your shell hardens, becoming invulnerable, dealing 20 damage to anything in your path. Interesting. Entrenched Shell. Extends iframes after being hit by an additional 0.3 seconds. Let's see. Shell regens over time, as long as you don't take damage. Oh. Hive Song. You take damage when your HP is regenerating, gain additional soul depending on the regen state. Lifeblood Melody, uh, if your shield activates, you will gain additional lifeblood, effectively healing you. Hmm. Lifeblood Elegy, Nail Beam is not lost upon taking damage. Hey, that's neat. Gilded Hunger, gain soul from Geo on a 1 to 1 ratio. Wait, holy crap, hold on. <laughs> Avarice Swarm. Greed plus Swarm passively generates 1 to 25 Geo every 10 seconds. If Defender's Crest is worn, chance to gain higher amounts of Geo increased by 25% and guarantees at least 5 per proc. The compass is worn, reduces the cooldown by 20%. Oh boy. Crushing Blow. Uh, makes Slash and Dash, or different slashes do spell damage. Unfortunately, the... the I'm not remembering what some, you know, S slash versus G slash is, but whatever. Void Twister. Void spells cost reduced by an additional two soul. Gain soul when da dashing through enemies. Stends iframes of Shade Cloak. That's pretty good. Let's see. Further increases movement speed when Fury is active. See, Glass Fury. Overcharm plus Fury automatically procs the effect and sets your max HP to 1. Huh. See, World Soul. Gain one additional soul every two seconds. It's not bad. God Soul. Even more. Sorcerer's Stone. Chance to fire a Soul Blast when swinging the nail left and right while a full soul. Huh. And some other ones that aren't in, Im implemented yet. And they might actually even be implemented. I don't know when this was last updated. Eh, back in October? I don't know. Maybe they are in. Because, yeah, extra summoning stuff would be lovely. Let's 